So there's one last step that we need to do is to have the load balancer in front of the CTFD server because we also want to restrict any user from accessing to the instance directly. So if you if I put an instance here, I can still I could put a private IP address, I can still access to the CTFD platform, which I do not want to do. So that's a recap. Let's bring back the diagram. So we now we need to put the application load balancer in front of the CTFD portal AWS instance. And we will install a SSL certificate on it as well. So that everything, all the traffic will go through application load balancer first before it reach the inner part of the Apache and the CTFD Docker. Okay, so let's do that. So we go to right here. So we create a load balancer. So we create application load balancer because we want to do some configuration with the HTTP and HTTPS traffic. So we create load balancer name. We just put ETFD or B. Then, uh, because our CTFD portal is inside the private subnet, so we put internal. We are not going to connect internet. And VPC, we choose this. Security group, we can create a new one. So we just put ETF LB SG. So inbound rule. We just put HTTP, HTTPS to protocol and just put this and this so you can any website, any IP address can connect to our website. So once we are okay, then we just create, create security group. Uh, yeah. LB Basic security group. Then let's go back here. So we click refresh. So we just click this. Next, what we need to do is to forward any HTTP request to the HTTPS. So we can also create a. So we can add a listener. HTTPS go for three. Then we can do that first. Then we can also create a later on we will create a target group. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest. ACM. So we request a new ACM certificate. Let's do that. So basically, we can use a uh, Amazon to generate a certificate for us. So request a public certificate. Fully qualified domain name. So we will put cloud demo dot cloud. So this is our fully qualified domain name. So we add another one. So we add a well cut certificate so that anything that is uh, in front of this we also accept as well. And DNS validation. Uh, okay, so we just click. Now we come to our certificate manager. You can see that the status is still pending validation. So let's go inside first. So you can see that it's pending validation because we haven't added this CNAME name into our cloud DNS. So what we can do is here, name, put the host as this. Then in value here and save. Once again, wait for it to update. Once it's updated, this will this status will change as well. So let's wait for a while. Okay, so as you can see, once it's updated, then you go back here. You can see that eh, actually it's success. Okay, so it means this is working already. So let's go back here, load balancer, let's refresh, then select a certificate. Okay, so let's choose this. 
security policy okay so we just leave it by default all these leave it by default then we can create our load balancer oh so we still have to choose um the availability zone so one of it we can choose the private subnet and the other one we can create here create subnet so we can put availability zone maybe we put 1b because this is 1a b so the block we can put this then as the default okay so create one more subnet so we go back here just click refresh again okay so we have two so one b okay so we have to create a target group let's create one more time Okay, so once you're okay, just click it. Then create target group. So let's go back to our load balancer. So listener, let's configure one more time at listener. forward to this target group okay so now you can see the health center is healthy so let's go back to our load balancer by right if we copy is this okay so it says here the site can't be rich so it could be the security group so let's take a look at the security group okay maybe we need to adjust the inbound rules so maybe we hit add rule again so HTTP, HTTPS, okay, then we save rules. All right, so once we have, once we are done with this, so let's see. And there we go, we have it. Okay, but of course this is a self science class, so that's why it cannot work. So there's a one last step that we need to do is to restrict, prevent people from accessing our private IP address, right? So because right now if they go to our IP address. You can access to it so what we need to do now is we go back to our this instance then the security group you can see there are a lot of uh, inbound rules so let's do some adjustment and the inbound rules okay so delete 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 so delete and delete so first of all h h we need so we just add that. Okay. Then because sometimes you may need to go back to the server and adjust some settings. So eventually you can actually restrict this IP address to the to your specific admin address. Admin 
IP address. So in this case, let's go with uh, this load balancer security group. So next, add one more. Change this to the load balancer security group. So now all traffic will go to the load balancer first. And save rules. Uh, we can change this to load balancer security group. Load balancer security. So inbound security group has really modified here. So let's do that one more time. Oops. So as you can see now, this site can't be reached. So we have successfully configured this part. So there's one more thing we need to do is to do some adjustment at the cloud.dns.net. So right now, right, we cannot point this to this. Okay, so we'll delete this first. Rename to the internal IP address of the load balancer. Copy this point here. So right now we put user. Then at the same time, we also want to redirect any HTTP of this to the HTTPS record. So we can add one more. We'll redirect. Web redirect. HTTPS. User.cloud.ps.p. Right, we need to go back to our TTFD instance. Then we need to adjust the virtual host config file to user dot cloud demo dot cloud dns dot ph and that should be it. it yes then do a restart okay everything is working fine active okay so let's go back to the load balancer security group So just make sure that it's not using a default one. So we just change to this. This. Okay, CTF will be dash SG. So just make sure that your group is configured properly. So then if you go here, if even you put HTTP, you'll be directed to this HTTPS user dot cloud demo dot cloud dns dot ph okay so that's all for my uh, demonstration i hope uh, this video has been uh, helpful to you and if you like this video i appreciate it. give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video